to begin the ISS upgrades to EVA. EV1 with red stripes egresses the airlock, followed by EV2. Both crew translate to the 4-Alpha Integrated Equipment Assembly, where EV1 installs a scoop on the direct current switching unit, and EV2 stows a tool bag onto the adapter plate. The crew work together to remove the adapter plate from slot 2 and bring it to slot 6. To install the adapter plate, the EV crew drive two bolts on the adapter plate. EV1 drives one bolt on the lithium ion battery in slot 5. EV2 uses a ratchet wrench to brake torque on the direct current switching unit and then resets the torque at a lower value with the pistol grip tool. EV2 connects the adapter plate to the lithium ion battery, completing the circuit for the 4 alpha 3 power channel. EV1 translates to the 4 alpha beta gimbal assembly. EV1 removes the H fixture in preparation for a future EVA. EV1 then returns to the airlock. EV2 previously returned to the airlock and now goes to the external stowage platform 2. EV2 removes a portable foot restraint installs it onto the robotic arm, and then ingresses. The robotic arm takes EV2 to the camera port 3 worksite at the S1 lower outboard location. EV1 brings out the replacement camera group to the worksite. With both crew at the worksite, EV2 releases three bolts and removes the failed camera group. The crew swap out the failed and replacement units. Then EV2 installs and drives three bolts. EV1 then returns the failed unit to the airlock. The arm flies EV2 over to the US laboratory module and the camera port 13 worksite. EV2 installs an external high definition camera onto the current camera group. EV2 mates connections and installs a strap before returning to the external platform too. Since there are no further arm operations during this EVA, EV2 will egress the arm and remove the portable foot restraint. After EV1 stows the failed camera group 3 in the airlock, he retrieves the new wrist vision equipment box and translates along the US laboratory in No2 module, then under the Japanese experiment module to the exposed facility. At the base of the Japanese robotic arm, EV-1 stows a tool bag carrying the wrist vision equipment. This box provides a camera view and light to support arm operations. EV-1 installs a scoop, which is a handling aid, onto the failed wrist vision equipment box, and then removes the box then installs the new wrist vision equipment box and removes the handling aid 
from that and stows that in the tool bag. EV1 retrieves the tool bag with the failed wrist vision equipment and then retraces his path along the Japanese experiment module, the Node 2 module, to the US laboratory. EV1 goes to the base of the camera port 13 stanchion and will mate the Ethernet cable to the wireless access port cable of the newly installed external high definition camera. Both crew return to the airlock. EV2 ingresses, followed by EV1, completing the planned test for ISS upgrades to EVA.